Hi, my name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis4teachers.org. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get organized to set up for the speed game, and then we'll have a couple videos showing you how you play out playing the game speed. The game speed, I must say, by far is one of my favorite games. It's from High Hill Educational Supplies, and we sell it on our website on sisforteachers.org. It has certainly been one of our top sellers on our website to help students to really have an understanding for multiplication. As with most things that we do in the game of speed, we like to be able to help students understand multiplication in patterns. So we have kind of reset our speed games to be in the patterns of multiplication. Typically it would be the tens and the fives. Two, four, eight is ending up in this part because of the pattern. And then we have three, six, nine, and then seven is usually done alone. The game speed is very similar to the game that you may have played as a child in um, with using a regular deck of cards, which are kind of going up or down in the number. We have a game board that you can download for free on our website at sis, the number four, teachers.org. In this game, each player has four spots where they are going to play um, and put their cards down. So we're gonna kind of show that we've sort of taken the deck to get this set up and we're going to um, have one person has half the deck and the other person has the other half. I'm gonna fill this side to kind of show you the way the setup would be. And then the next video will kind of show you how you go about playing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put four cards down in my spots and leave one card down to be flipped over. My partner would set up their side this way. Some students don't like this because they can see each other's card, but we're first learning how to play the game speed. As kids continue playing this game, they may want to take these four cards and keep them private and hold them in their hand as they play. This game is kind of set up for the game of speed, we're going to put the um, numbers in the center up. My partner put this card down. I contributed this card here. We're going to start to play the game and sort of look at the ideas of it. Each of the cards have different kinds of beads that are skip counting by whatever speed it is. We're using a two speed. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. When we have a ten, you can either go up or you can go down by that number. So I could either place an eight on top of the 10, or I could skip count up and put a 12. This card, as we can tell from the beads, it's 14. We're doing the two speed game, so we can either go back down to 12, or we can go up to 16. In this case, on my card, I might go ahead and do the 12. We're skip counting by tens, so in this case, I could go ahead and put my 10 on top. My slots are empty, so we kind of call it reload. Anytime you play a card during the game, you can reload. On my partner's side, as we're just looking at the beginning parts of the game, we notice that this person has a 10, so they either can do a 12 or an 8. Remember, both sides of the cards can play on either of these cards. This player over here does not have a 12, and they do not have an 8. On this side, though, I think I can go ahead and go up by 2 and back down by 2, and I'm going to go ahead and refill mine. I'm getting kind of lucky on my side of the board because I'm able to go up by two and then back down by two, and then I can sort of refill. At this point, this player can still not use any of their cards, but I'm able to put the eight on top of the 10 because I know that that will equal um, going back to from eight. Certain times during the game, you may experience a situation that you see here. In this situation, we are completely locked out, meaning my partner cannot make any moves and neither can I. So in this case, both players will take a card from their deck and they will flip it. In this case now, we can kind of continue where we're going with our speed. You, right now I'm kind of doing this in a little bit of a slow motion way but you eventually would want to be able to get to the point of getting faster and faster as you're playing the game. So my partner's gonna kinda look to see what their opportunities are. 
14 and then 16, I'm gonna to wanna to get my 14 back on, but my partner's gonna to wanna to get their 16s on. So we continue to refill as we're playing the game. At a certain point in time, you could get stuck during this game. Perhaps all of my cards that I'm flipping up are gone and we are stuck. You are allowed to take the deck. I'm not stuck right now, but if I were to be, you could take the deck and take this middle part of the deck and make it two discard piles. These two discard piles would allow you to reset the deck of cards as you continued play. You would wanna leave the two cards down to be able to do this. The basic idea of this is whoever gets out of their cards first wins in the game of speed. We wanna make sure that you understand how to set up the game, how to kind of play it slowly with your partner to get the idea before you get into a real competitive mode. And this next video that you're gonna see, we're gonna show you how we play our two speed, but we're going to play it in a regular fashion as if we would play the whole entire game of speed. We hope this helps you understand how to play the game of speed. Feel free to download the game board on our website and purchase your own deck of speed in our store at sis4teachers.org.